Mandrills are one of the most easily identifiable primate species because of their brightly colored faces and the brightly colored hindquarters on the males. They live in family groups called troops. Uh, they usually are made up of one dominant male and several females. Here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, we have five mandrills. Uh, we have a male named Mosi, and our females are Matilda, Hasina, and Malika, and Malika's son, Bernard. Bernard was born on October 16th, 2022. He is Malika's first baby, and she is an excellent mom. She's very caring and attentive. Uh, you'll usually see her carry Bernard on her stomach, but as he gets a little bigger, she will start to carry him on her back. But she's very protective. She has been good as Bernard is getting a little older and getting a little more independent. She'll let him kind of wander off and explore a little more. So the rest of the troop is do also doing really well with the new baby. They are very interested in him, but also respectful of Malika and her space. Um, they are often seen grinning at him, which is a really common mandrel behavior. They will bare their teeth in a kind of smile, which is a friendly greeting gesture. Um, he has a particularly close relationship with his aunt, Hasina. She is very interested in holding and touching and grooming him and trying to play with him. Uh, pretty much any time Mom Malika will allow it, she is right up there next to Bernard. So it's been really fun to get to watch Bernard grow. He's getting a little more independent and active every day. He's also developing a really fun personality. He's very curious. He's developing some really great climbing skills. Um, and he's just a little ball of energy. He's curious about everything, whether it's mom's food or enrichment that we put in their environment. He just wants to touch and climb on everything. So right now, Bernard is still nursing from his mother, Malika. Um, he will be weaned from her at around 6 to 12 months of age, and we expect to see him grow and put on weight fairly quickly. He'll lose his pink baby face eventually, he'll develop those distinctive nasal ridges on his muzzle, and he'll develop that distinctive bright scarlet and blue coloration. Um, and that brightness of that coloration really depends on his age and his dominance within the group. So we won't expect him to look like his father, Mosi until he's around eight to nine years of age. So a fun fact is that Bernard's father, Mosi is actually the first mandrel baby born here at the Columbus Zoo. And now Bernard is his first offspring. So next time you're at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, stop by Congo Expedition and see our whole mandrel troop. <laughs>